going on guys Ernie here with a uh, search and destroy match on bootleg um, this is a weird map I don't enjoy playing around here because it's dark and it rains and mostly because I die a lot um, anyways guys uh, for today's topic I just thought I'd talk about uh, Hutch and um, wow my ideas on why he quits and uh, what the what he meant to me because he was a pretty, pretty awesome person. Yeah. But anyways, I just thought I'd talk a little bit about um, the gameplay. Um, I don't play Touch and Destroy um, like ever. Um, but I jumped into a lot uh, my friend's lobby, and uh, he wanted to play some Touch and Destroy, so that's what we did. And surprisingly, you know, I did. Uh, you know, okay. Uh, you know, at first I was kind of just messing around, but then I had this um, one l little round where I got like three kills in a row or something. But it was pretty, pretty awesome. And uh, I discovered the joy of clutching, which uh, is just basically you're all alone and your team is losing, and you just bring it back all by yourself. So that's basically what a clutch is, and I've uh, been doing that quite a bit. Um, actually, my friends might disagree. But, um, anyways, you know, enjoy the gameplay. This is one of those rare kind of search and destroy kind of things coming up. But, um, yeah, topic of this video is Hutch. And, um, recently this week, I think it was uh, Wednesday or Thursday, I was watching, a, I was on Twitter and uh, I was looking over Hutch's tw tweets and uh, I got the feeling that, like, something, something kind of happened. So I went on Machinima. Uh, the app and I uh, searched for a video couldn't actually find it but um went on YouTube and I found this video of a uh, Hutch and Sinars I mean not Sinars Sark and uh, Hutch talking about their memories and how Hutch is gonna quit and I, I was shocked and I was surprised on how emotional I got I mean I didn't cry um, but it, it hit me hard it was uh his, he affected me in so many ways, um, you know, uh, I've started making commentaries because he influenced me, uh, he inspired me, um, you know, before I've ever started watching any of his videos, I was, um, I was one of those gamers that bought multiplayer kind of games, but I only played, you know, the single player and stuff, you know, over and over again, but... I started watching some of his videos and then I just uh, I just want to become a good player like uh, like him and I started playing multiplayer games because uh, I started playing online uh, because um, it just I just saw how good he was and how much skill that it kind of took and stuff so I mean you know that's uh, so I started became, I became a multiplayer person but uh, once I started doing that, you know, I watched more of his videos, which made me want to become a better player. Like I want to become a team player while being, you know, like a slayer, like, like a badass that just takes out the whole team and gets the objective. So um, I've I've also even wanted to become a better person because he's incredibly intelligent. His I think his a nice person uh, he's not afraid to share his opinions and stuff um, I have some opinions that I am afraid to share because it's kind of a sensitive subject but you know he had no fear on uh, you know the subject but um, yeah I mean I've been actually talking about talking about him but I, I don't think I've explained who he actually is uh, if you guys don't know who Hutch is his uh, a lot of people like to describe him as the grandfather of uh, Call of Duty videos because he was one of the first people to make call, uh, call of Duty videos, your know, montages, commentary. Um, I think it started in 2008 or something like that. Uh, he went out, bought an HDMI, and then just started recording. Actually, no, I don't even think it was an HDMI. I think it was just normal uh, rocks to capture cars, something just like 50 bucks. And he went out and started having fun. And uh, you know that's what it's worth about. I think a lot of people forget what this is about. It's about having fun, uh, you know, sharing your ideas and 
not really trying to make money. My friend, their trooper, just missed a guy. Um, but yeah, um, I'm I'm gonna really miss him. You know his videos and uh, hope ho uh, he said that he's keeping his uh, Twitter. So you know that's that's good, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of people out there uh, kind of have their uh, kind of ideas for why he quit. And um, I think my favorite one out there that I've heard is uh, that uh, there's a lot of backstabbing in in this type of YouTube videos, in the type of you know, commentaries and stuff like that. There's a lot of backstabbing, you know, fighting for views and stuff like that. Because uh, you know, as this happened, it became more about making money and getting views, and uh, that's when the backstabbing kind of starts and stuff. Uh, you know, Hutch has even deleted his Twitter before, saying his last tweet was like, uh, I'm tired of all drama and stuff like that. So, uh, that could be a very good reason. I mean, I would, I would believe that. Um, but my idea, and to me this seems a little, just a little more realistic, um, my idea was that, you know, he's probably uh, leaving, trying to leave on a high note. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying is that he was at the peak of his machinima commentary videos and uh, I don't blame him for leaving that early I mean I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say but like for example uh, Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill uh, the voice of uh, Joker in the video games uh, and animated series he's, he's really good at doing Joker voices um, but he, he's gonna quit. I mean, he's retired. He's not gonna do the voices anymore because um, he's at he's at his peak, and uh, he just want to live on a high note. You know, he want to be really good. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> and I think that's what uh, what Hutch is doing. You know, he's trying to uh, uh, you know leave on a on a high note and just. I don't know how I can explain this more, but you know, he's just he was at his very best and he's probably just living on on that and you know he's pursuing he's probably pursuing other dreams that he has, you know. I don't think anyone out there wants to, you know I think every man has dreams that are more important than video games and stuff. I mean I think personally I think he fulfilled every kinda aspect of his video game career commentating career um, but you know his he probably has more other stuff that he wants to pursue and you know I don't blame him uh, I mean I think I would have it would be awesome if I was offered a job at Machinima which was probably never gonna happen but it would be insane it'd be awesome and but I wouldn't do it forever you know I have other dreams than just making YouTube videos and stuff. Um, this little little trap that my friend put for me. There's trooper, and I use him as bait. Um, so I mean, that's my idea for why he quits. Um, you know, I just I would just like to say, uh, you know, he probably he's probably not gonna watch this ever. Um, but you know, I just want to say thank you, Hutch, for making all those videos for that little bit of entertainment in my day um, but it's it's made a big difference in my life I've became a different person I've, uh, I've strived to be a different person and um, uh, don't quit what you're doing even though you said you were gonna quit making YouTube videos ever and uh, but don't stop playing video games that's what I'm gonna, it's gonna gonna say um, so I mean that's pretty much the end of the topic um, you can see I was just messing around using Tomahawk and uh, <clears throat> the guy that right here got the kill cam right here did some pretty badass thing like boom switch boom but um, yeah expect some uh, more search and story games coming up actually I've got a lot sorry I got a lot um, 
so yeah 12 and 3 I think uh, thanks for watching and uh, yep